Jonas Franschke! So he's the husband of Emily Blunt, and he is a new action hero cool guy. Yeah, he's a, 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 a certified badass in, in the movies. He does really good in the movies. Now, what's funny about it is he came from uh, The Office. I have a hard time seeing him in movies because all I can see is Jim. Luckily, I never watched The Office, so, so you're I not... didn't get, you know, branding fucked. Yeah. So yeah. here he is, like, and it, like he plays this role really good. Now, what's what, when he plays Jack Ryan and military guys, like, his character that he plays is kind of a DI type of character. I know, he's like ESTP. Very Good and here's sensory. some proof right here. There's some ESTP <laughs> proof right there because of muscles, handsome muscles. Right, he has muscles, therefore yeah. must have Savior SE. And then, uh, you know, when you get the muscles, then you get the Emily Blunt, so, you know, well, it works out. <laughs> You get the whole thing. So uh, uh, type-wise, uh, INTJ audio, and I'm as certain as I can be from watching this guy for quite a bit, interviews and stuff like that. So what, what was interesting, I'm like, okay, if this guy is actually an INTJ, if I have this right, Blastly Play, he should be Saver DE. Now I'm getting a conflict because I'm like, oh, every time I see him in the movies, he's not Saver DE. He's Saver DI badass. It's called acting. <laughs> but then it also makes sense if she is super DI, yeah, then right. okay, he would be DE. Now, now this is something, let's talk about relationships real quick. So what are the opposites here? We got the similarities of they're both audio sexual. So that's kind of like, okay, uh, you know, a lot of times those are opposite, especially with the sexuals, you know, feminine sensory versus masculine right. sensory. Uh, now what they do have different is NT versus SF. Everything else. It's decider versus observer. It's NT, it's DE, it's OI, it's uh, DI versus EI. Yeah, like, right. They have every single thing other, other than than their modality. Right. So we are seeing that with relationships. I know a lot of people are interested in that. Like, you know, I guess any relationship you can make work, force work or, or whatever. Absolutely. Or, but it's like, I guess what we're saying is like, just pay attention with those that you're dating or relationships, what you have in common and what you have opposite. Right. And you're not going to have everything opposite. Right. Or, and nor do you need to. Right. No. You, know? you want to be buddies. I would just say own the hell out of what you actually want. If you want to climb mountains and you actually want a barbecue buddy to pull you back down to earth, then own that. That's Speaking really awesome. of INTJ, I'm starting to agree with Ty Lopez <laughs> that relationships probably have a 10 year shelf life for yes. most people. Yes. If you look at the statistics, that kind of makes sense why it's like if you're growing, like, you know, you and your partner probably are not going to be the same when you're fucking 90. That and happens. maybe you don't have to force it in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Anyways, back to Jack Ryan. <laughs> So what I like to do, and what, what the team of the scientists here at uh, the Lake Show figured out, they figured out 13 questions that go straight to the heart of someone and allow them to be known in a full way. Oh, wow. Okay. It's <laughs> called the Colbert Questionnaire. John Krasinski, have you the courage to face it? Let's do it. He's got the courage to wear purple socks. John Krasinski, what is the best sandwich? Meatball sub. Wow, I just got judged. Is that what it looks like when you're being judged? <laughs> yes. You can get a meatball sub anywhere, anytime. The reasons. Pro proven himself. <laughs> He has to prove it. He said it and then he got the FI judgment and then had to like look around the room. So right away I'm like, uh, there's the E. Yes. Oh, I got judged. The the DI God King is judging me. Yes. I know he's I know he's joking around, I know he's double deciding, but still. What's the one thing that you should really throw out? One thing that you own that you should really throw out? Oh man. Um according to me or my wife? <laughs> uh, what makes the calls? My wife. Um the other person. there is a Celtic shirt that I had in college. Oh. Yep that has, it's almost like a plastic film under here. <laughs> uh -huh. And for some reason, the washing machine has let me down uh, yeah, in the last 376 washes. And it, it just stays plasticky. And she's like, please, you shoot could, it. You could, frame, <laughs> you could frame it. It's framing itself. <laughs> <laughs> So Look at how fast. That was so much DE in the beginning there. I know, I know, I know. Just so fast. Me or my wife. What does me or my wife say? I, I don't think I should. But, and Get then, her involved. And then the second the laughter comes from, I don't know who that is. I'm guessing that's his mom. I have no idea who that lady I, is. I, it's not Emily Blunt, as far as I can tell. <laughs> I have no idea who but that lady is. But he keeps saying my wife. There's some lady sitting next to him. <laughs> I'm still distracted by the purple socks. <laughs> trying to process that, so I'm only halfway here. <laughs> things. Yeah, but I, things. I'm just picking up on how fast he's like, you know the the DE is hearing the hearing the uh, peanut gallery. It's right. a constant peanut gallery. Right, right, right. Peanuts. What's the scariest animal? Crocodile. Okay. Anything that has the term death roll in your oh yeah. yeah. Reasons. Not only the bite's not bad enough, then no. you got to roll me. What into would the you river. do? What would you? The crocodile grabs you, is dragging you toward the water. What's your play? I play. What would you do all the time? And I genuinely and think I... I would just yell no, no, <laughs> no, no. I would. Go for roll. the eyes. Thumbs for the eyes. Yep. Okay. T-E, argue with it. <laughs> right. Just, no, 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 so, no. So, so interesting with the fears, uh, Emily Blunt, when she asked that question, she said uh, like cockroaches or something like that. Random. So that's, that's something uh, we see like spiders, like with the demon SI or saver SI, or no, demon yeah. SI, right? Demon so, SI. Yeah, we, like we, spiders. so it's like, so it's I, sand. I was just, yeah, sand, right? I was processing this like, 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 because I'm almost the same type as this guy, very yeah. similar. So I'm like, okay, so what's my scariest animal? Like I'm comparing mine to his. I'm like, 
Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Because it's like something with like, Chaos. like it's like a big monster. Apples or oranges? Apples. I oh, can't put peanut butter on an orange. Wait, sorry, is this the first one I've gotten right? What? I want to know if you think this is the first one I got right. The other ones were high judgment. Is, what? Did I? <laughs> well, this this is this is this is you know a binary choice. For it's a us, binary choice. But you have your opinions about things, like me. Well, I know what the right answer is. Not my opinion. I know what the, I right, know answer what the right answer is. is. <laughs> he just said it. He just said it. He said, but I know what the right answer is. Apples yeah. or oranges? We can't put peanut butter on the orange. <laughs> what did you just say? I'm being judged here. But how funny! Like the the de like. It's tracking. Is that the first one I got right? I got yeah. it right. I got it right. Like that's honestly what I'm trying to do all the time. You ask me if I want a sandwich. You ask me if I want to eat. And there is you a think there's TE. A game. I know. There's a TE right answer. There is a TE right. Answer. God damn it. God fucking damn it. <laughs> because if I want here's why. Uh. Here's my reasons. If I want a sandwich and everyone is like, "Well, we already ate and we're ready to I'm go." I'm savored DI. <laughs> I could have left it hidden in the shelf, like I've done for two days, ate the other three and didn't tell you about it. There's two left and now I'm feeling guilty. So I'm like, here's your sandwich. So I've already done all that for you. You didn't show me any of that at you, first. I know, but like- The second you I, show I'm me doing, the I'm doing all the decision making process like under the surface. Nobody knows that, weirdo. I know, except for, I'm telling you. You could have said, this is what would have made it easier. You could have said, Nobody's eaten. We're no, one. No, I'm out of words. No. Sandwich, yes or no. I'm not talking. I'm not well, discussing. Well, that's different. I'm not setting it up. Sandwich, yes or no is a yes. Are you hungry? Why am I debating sandwiches right now? <laughs> God damn it. Flat or sparkling? Flat. Okay. Most use... <laughs> that, that made me feel bad. At what out? At what out? Most use app on your phone? Spotify. I only just, re I am 94 years old. I just recently figured out that they have radio channels that mix up your favorite artists. So you say Leon Bridges, and you can listen to all Leon Bridges. Do you know about Spotify? Are and you, then they say Leon Bridges Radio. Are you sponsored by Spotify? Are you the, Spotify. Is, <laughs> the only way to listen to, no, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> you get the consume last, Leon. Yeah, you're like, okay, this guy's DE, and if he's consumed last, where's his cringy douchebag? There it is. It just doesn't even know about the normal stuff that everybody else is already and into then, and using. Yeah. I know. I do feel like the consume lasts are like living about a decade to two decades behind totally, everybody else. Totally. Totally. I would say totally. maybe two decades. Two I, decades behind everybody else. You would not. You would have a. Uh, you would have a pager still if it weren't for me. <laughs> those were convenient. <laughs> No, I, they're not. I just, or a payphone. Put those some bitches on silence. Actually, think about pagers. I had a pager that my boss gave me that the the menu was so fucked up. I had bad dreams about it for the next ten to fifteen years. Oh. Yeah. Of like like just like I'll wake up in a dream like like just trying to like get through the settings yeah. and like it's an emergency and I can't get through the settings. Like that's, that's really interesting. Describe the rest of your <laughs> life in five words. I hope I make it. <laughs> John Krasinski, happy. congratulations. Thank you very much. You are known. You're known. Oh, thank you. He's like. <laughs> Oh, thanks. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Fucking weird decider playing the judgment game on me. I know, right? And yeah. like, that's the thing is that the DE is like, I wasn't being oh, honest man. with you. Yeah. So obviously I'm not known. Right. <laughs> and then also like the double decider is like, whatever. We're just, we're just fooling around. <laughs> yeah, right. Making right. fun of each other. Right. For so sure. yeah, he's going to be very super double decidery. Like he's, he's DE, but he's not going to like cry about it. Right, right, right. He's not cry about it. So another thing I like about FI, especially the masculines, and I see this in myself strongly, like, you know, when we were college, like roommates, you know, I was very much the huggy roommate, very uh, touchy feely. I think that's also your kinesthetic. Yeah, your yeah. masculine SF is look, look very like grabby. Yeah, yeah. So, the, so the, like, the, so the, we see it. Like, it's not just me. Here's a good example right here. <laughs> so good. It's a delight. We have to redo the hug. Oh yeah. Now we get from a year ago. Come on. You ready? Let's do it. Oh, very nice. Oh, this is so nice. Good to see you. A Quiet Place Part Two will be in theaters on May 28th. John Krasinski, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> totally normal. Uh, that 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 equal signs masculine SF. Uh, so if you like to hug, you have masculine SF. There you go. 